It has been a minute since I've made a video, so this is going to be very strange. But, um, uh, hey guys. This is going to be just a more talk video. I'm not going to play any games, talk about VGC all that much. I still will a little bit. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about just some stuff that I've noticed uh, in my life, specifically related to working out. I want to do more, if I'm going to upload this year, it's going to be more gym focused or more outdoor videos. I think I will try to post a couple of those. So um, that's at least what I'm aiming for right now. Um, <clears throat> but basically, where have I been? Uh, I went to Worlds. I went 4-4, four and four, had a great time. Uh, not a fantastic performance, but like decent enough to where I'm like, it's respectable for me, at least for my first Masters Worlds. Um, but after Worlds was over, it's a, it's it's a hell of a grind. I'm not going to lie, and I just needed a break. So I'm I'm taking a break from BGC, honestly, until maybe until February, when uh, San Antonio Originals. I think it's San Antonio. I think yeah, San Antonio Originals are happening, which I will be going to. Uh, but until then, I'm pretty much not going to be playing BGC. I'm focusing on other stuff right now, mostly the gym. Um, and I just beat Metaphor. Metaphor came out a couple weeks ago. Really good game. Um, definitely highly recommend Metaphor Re Fantasy. Oh, and incredible. I don't say I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 game, but it's very damn close. Um, but honestly, I've just been focusing on other stuff in my life. Um, so I definitely will not be uploading VGC content, at least until next year. Um, which puts my channel in a bit of a weird spot because I built up like uh, I built up my channel. I mean, not that's too much to begin with, but I built the channel up on VGC content, and so to be not uploading VGC is a bit odd. But uh, you know, winter's coming up, and um, you know, most people during the winter time they stay outdoors or they stay indoors. Excuse me. Uh, but I really want to do you know some like outdoor type videos like uh literally from my window i can see the rocky mountains so um and there's snow on the peaks right now and i think it'd be cool to do some like you know hike videos and uh, maybe just general like sam like i've been watching a lot of sam select so this is maybe where the channel's going as of currently i really like his talks where he just kind of talks into the camera about like gym stuff so i really want to continue I really want to do like more gym videos because that's pretty important to be right now. Um, but in all honesty, this video doesn't really have any direction. But I did want to touch upon something that I've noticed with like in terms of working out and whatnot. Um, I've been working out probably for I want to say seven years. Uh, I'm 20 right now, and uh, weight has always been a pretty big and not an issue per se. But I've definitely not. I, I haven't been ever obese, but I've been overweight at times, and. Um, I'm in this really weird spot where my metabolism is kind of odd because on my mom's side, like they've, you know, good genetics, but on my dad's side, the genetics aren't great. So I, yeah, I have these two kind of polar opposite gen, like uh, genetics to pull from, and it makes it so like I don't have an ideal body, but I also don't have like bad genetics per se. It's up to me to put in the effort in order to get to the point where I want to be. And this, uh, ever since I started college, I've been actively taking a, or I've been taking more of an active approach to my health and going to the gym, making gains and trying to just get an understanding of like, I want to be healthy. I want to be healthier than I have before. Um, in freshman year, it was literally just, I hit the gym every day. No, no joke. Unless it was, you know, like, you know, a little bit of a break with my roommate or, you know, a party or something, hit the gym every day. I watched my diet kind of like sort of watched my diet and then sophomore year um, of college, excuse me, sophomore year of college, I uh, was pretty like more strict on the diet, you know, it was like my main diet was chicken, eggs, um, apples, bananas, and no, not bananas, uh, peppers, onions, protein bars, a lot, a lot of protein rich foods. Um, and I stuck with that diet pretty consistently. And sophomore year, I did start to see, like, a good bit of muscle building, good bit of growth. If you, like, uh, you know, if you ever look at my Twitter, yeah, I post gym progress pics from time to time. Just because I feel good about where I am right now. Mentally, I feel like I'm in a good spot. Or at least, like, a pretty decent spot, I would say. And uh, going to the gym really helps me, like, in terms of my mental. And so that's what I really, really want to focus on this next year. Since I'm not doing VGC... Uh, it's like 
you know, it gives me an opportunity to focus on other things. Because, like, the thing with VGC was is that most weekends I was, you know, traveling across the state to playing locals. And that takes a long time. That takes a lot of commitment. And that means that, like, that day I probably wasn't going to the gym to work out. And, you know, like, it's not... Sorry. Uh, it's not that significant in the grand scheme of things, but... Um, at the end of the day, I did want, you know, to stay pretty consistent with the gym and really want to focus on my health. You know, I'm currently in Colorado, which is a huge scene for being active and hiking and biking and just being outdoors. Like recently, I started to get into running. I've been into running for the past two years, but, you know, I've started to run around neighborhoods, um, run out to the highway, uh, go on like pretty lengthy runs, like five mile runs, just some stuff like that. And that recently... I did a 10K, and then I followed that up with a half marathon with my friend, and that was really fun, and it was great to push myself. A uh, half marathon sucked. That was pretty awful, but it was also fun to do, um, but I'm really trying to push, like, the the, lim or the limits of what my, what my body can do, and I'm trying to be healthy in all those ways. And one thing I've noticed that, like, going into junior year is that in junior, this year, I, um, you know, I've been going to the gym. Not as consistent as maybe I was in the past, but still pretty consistent. And instead of, you know, just, <coughs> excuse me, instead of maybe just like aiming for a certain weight that I can, um, you know, lift, I decided what if I just hit to try to go for failure, you know, like push my body to, you know, what it can handle. And I've noticed significant increases in what I've been able to lift and just like general stuff. I've like, I look really good. I feel great. Um, sure, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm I, like my diet is meant for me to be in a calorie deficit pretty consistently. And so there are times, especially like right now, where I feel pretty lightheaded. Um, but, uh, you know, once you eat food and that it, it's, it's not that bad. But apart from that, which just comes from being in a calorie deficit, you know, that that's it. That is what it is. Um, you know, I feel great. And this year, I've been really pushing the limits. And w w one fun fact that I've noticed, and this is kind of what I want to talk about, is um, my jeans uh, used to be a size 32 when, like, ba back in high school. And, you know, nowadays, I would have to wear a belt constantly for those. Like, it was, like, 30, 30, 32, something like that. Um, but, you know, like, not large, but, like, definitely not small. Um, so I'd have to constantly wear a belt. Um... And it got to the point where I was like, okay, I just want to get new jeans. So I ended up getting a 30, a size 30 and a size 29. Size 30, uh, the size 29 at the time, this was about a month ago, fit like, uh, fit, fit tight. Not like super tight to the point where it's like, okay, that's kind of a little sus looking. Um, but like tight enough to where it was like, I don't need to wear a belt for this. Size 30, you know, like I can wear stuff under it and then it, it, it's a good layering tool. But the size 29 is actually kind of loose right now. Uh, so I've noticed a significant progress in like the past couple months in terms of me being able to like stay stay off uh, like to, to keep weight off and you know for, for those like I still have like I'm not skinny I still have like a little bit of chunk not like chunk but like I'm not skinny but I'm also not like you know I'm in that like that spot in between uh, but like it, it has constantly been an issue for me um, throughout childhood and throughout my entire life to maintain my weight. And it feels like I'm suddenly at a point where I feel really good about what I'm doing. Um, which is, which is fantastic. You know, managing my calories is a huge thing. Uh, ever since I've maintained like a really consistent diet, that's what's helped me. Uh, th that's what's helped me significantly is, you know, watching what I eat, not like having an app that tracks calories, but kind of keeping like a mental of like, oh, I know like this meal was a bit lighter. So like maybe this meal like was breakfast and yeah, I wasn't that hungry. So I only had 400 calories and then lunch was like 500 calories. So I have like a good bit of calories to spare, but I still want to be in that deficit. So let's say we're at 400, 500, that's 900. You know, we have like a couple snacks throughout the day. So that's like 200 calories. So let's say dinner, I'm like, all right, I can have 700 calories and still be at 1800 calories in a calorie deficit. Just monitoring kind of like generally what uh, your calorie count is, is very significant. And um, it definitely really helps. So I think maybe going in, going, looking forward into the future, I'm going to start doing more like health related talks just because they're really fun. I, I, I like the f f 
free flow form of these talks. And I just get to talk about like stuff that I've seen in my life. I've seen, number one, my jawline looks better. My face, just my facial complexion looks really good. Like, I don't know. It just, it, I'm not saying like, like it just looks good. I don't look as puffy as I used to. If you go back on my channel, you'll see like I, I have videos from four years ago from like high school, middle school, not yeah, middle school. Um, and I, you know, I'm just like, kind of like that a little puffy stuff like that you know i just i feel better about myself and i think you know if i do more of these uh talks i get to talk about like the the benefits that i'm seeing and that helps me want to be able to pursue these health benefits and being in the gym more uh, so i can see these benefits um absolutely it's definitely helped me in terms of my mental uh my physical being i can definitely do more now uh there are times when i'm very surprised by how much i can do in comparison to maybe like others my age um like uh recent not recently but about like two months ago my friends and i we went and hiked a 14er if you don't know what a 14er is that is a mountain that has a 14,000 foot uh peak like above sea level um, and once you get up to around like 9,000 feet and above in sea level, the air tends to get pretty thin and oxygen levels aren't, they're not um, as plentiful as it would be like near sea level. And I grew up at like, not sea level, but like just like a little bit above, like a couple hundred feet above sea level. So like the elevation isn't a thing really. Um, but I was able to do that. I mean, not with ease, but with not too much difficulty. And so it's just really being able to push my body to limits to see what I can do. And I really want to like record some of these adventures or talk about like these certain aspects of my life that I've been improving on because I, I number one, I like doing it and I want to have, I want to put content up on the channel uh, in the interim when I'm not doing VGC. So the channel isn't dead per se, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, I think next week I'll try to do a video talking about like strictly what my diet has done in like in terms of like my weight loss journey and how I feel and my ability being able to perform at the gym <laughs> my ability being able to perform <laughs> uh, <coughs> and like at the gym and um, just in terms of like uh, muscle mass gains all that stuff i think i'll do a video on that next week or something but uh yeah i just wanted to get some content out there tell you where i am i'm doing well um you know really striving to improve myself which it, it's felt great i think one thing in life is like focus on your career focus on everything but at the end of the day you're you and you want to take care of your body and i think putting in just a bit, a bit of effort i put in a lot more effort than maybe is required to just have a decent grasp of health but just like putting a little bit of effort you know understanding like you know instead of going for the yogurt that is loaded in sugar go for the like greek yogurt that's you know low like lower in sugar lower in calories has more protein is uh, it's just better for you just lo looking at these options and it'll just improve your life in terms of number one your diet and your diet di really dictates how your life goes if you have a poor diet i feel like everything else kind of falls like falls in around you like there, there are days when like i just eat like shit damn there are days where i eat like shit i you know just indulge a bit and i, I don't feel good I, I, I don't feel, I feel sluggish. I don't have any motivation. I don't really have much energy, but there are days when, you know, I eat like high volume food, foods like yogurt, eggs, chicken, uh, peppers, onions, all these good, like just mm, those, those health foods. I feel great. Um, I have the energy, the ability to do anything. So, um, yeah, it feels absolutely fantastic. But, um, anyways, uh, I guess I'll stop talking because I feel like if I go over 15 minutes, that's kind of a lot. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll try to be uploading more. <coughs> Excuse me, just like general health videos. I can't guarantee it's going to be like an actual thing uh, that's going to be super like long term. But it just feels good to talk about this stuff. So I just want to get it out there. So like where I've been, health benefits and whatnot. Um, and yeah, my pant size is down. Feels great. Having a good time out here. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you did, just stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Peace.